Welcome! The purpose of this tutorial is to walk you through how to do a search in Antpack or the Anteater Public Access Catalog. So I am on the UCI Libraries homepage and I'm going to scroll over here to this box in the middle that says Books, Articles and More and click on Antpack. And this is everything that UCI owns. These are books, videos, government documents, um, listings for bound periodicals, just a wealth of information here. And similar to the Academic Search Complete interface um, and looking for articles, you can use a lot of these same search techniques here. So first we're going to go over um, using our topic from before of school to prison pipeline. I'm going to first search for a phrase. I want an exact phrase, school to prison pipeline. So I go over to just this keyword tab and I can type in school to prison pipeline. And as you can see, I've put that in quotes. So what the catalog is gonna do is it's gonna look for that phrase all together just as I've typed it. And then I go over here and click search. My search results come up. We have 14 results. Right now everything is sorted by date. If you wanted to, you could sort by a few relevancy or another option. Um, and you're seeing all of the books that have this exact phrase school to prison pipeline somewhere in the item record. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. We're just going to take a look at this first item record. This is transforming the school to prison pipeline lessons from the classroom. So I've opened this record and you can see that my search term school to prison pipeline has appeared in the title and they have we have a print version of this down here. So before we go take a look at the print version. I want to talk a little bit about the item records you're seeing here. So all the item records are going to look pretty similar. Information on the book and then you'll see this box underneath and there's a call number for this book. Um, call number is the book's address in the library. So the first part of a Library of Congress call number is related to the subject area. So LC is related to education and then you read this first number as a whole number. So LC 4802. If you were going to go look for this book on the shelf, that's the first bit of information you would need. Um, but this book isn't on the shelf. Its location says internet, which is wonderful. So this is an ebook. So you don't even have to come into the library to look at this book. We do, however, still put a call number on it because the way call numbers work in the library is all of the books that are alike are shelved together, right? So if I wanted more books like this book, I could go up to the shelf and go to the LC 4802s and find other very similar books right next to where this book would be on the shelf. So first things first, we're going to take a look at this book. I want access to this online book, so I'm going to click on this link in the blue connect to blocks and this is going to open up a new tab for me. And we get um, ebooks from several different vendors and each vendor's page is going to look a little bit different. Um, this one happens to be from Springer. The nice thing about Springer is you can download sections of the book, right? So please always feel free to read the entire book if you want to. You do not have to. Okay, so this is how you read a book for research. Take a look at the introduction. Take a look at chapters that are specific to your topic you know, sort of skim through things. You don't have to read the entire thing. So if I wanted to just have the chapter School to Prison Pipeline, I can go here and download just that chapter. And then I'll be able to save this, read it offline if I don't particularly like ebooks, 
and use this information in my paper. So that's how you get part of a book for a class. I'm going to go back right here. Okay, great. So that is how you get an ebook at the UCI Libraries. You find what you're interested in in the catalog because it's still a book. You still have access to it. So we're going to go back to the catalog. Okay, so I have found my book and I downloaded that, but I want to look at the other things in my list. So to get back to my results, I'm going to go up to this return to list button up here and it's going to take me back to my search. So I want to show you a book that is available in the libraries. So let's go over to, let's start with number three from education to incarceration. And again, this phrase, school to prison pipeline, showed up in the title. And this is a slightly more complete record. It has a summary of the book, shows up in the summary a couple of times. We also have access to all of the chapter titles, which is wonderful. So, okay. Now, if I want to find this book in the libraries, I'm going to need three things. The first is the call number. So here's the call number again, books address in the library. The first section refers to the subject area and you read this as a whole number. So LB 3012.2. The second part of the call number refers to the editor or the author and you read this one as a decimal. Okay, so F76 might be after F75. It might also be after F7, right? Because F7 is really F70. And so you may see F7, F759, F76. So just know that when you go up, and then the last part is the publication year. The next thing you will need to know is the status. Will this book be on the shelf when I go to go to get it? And in this case, no, the book will not be on the shelf because it's checked out. You can go look for the book. It will not be there. What you can do if a book says checked out and due on a different date is you can place something called a recall. And to do that, you go up to this button here, click on this button, You'll log in with your UCI Net ID. Let me just show you how that looks. You log in with your UCI Net ID and it selects the item record. And if you click Request Selected Item, it will t send an automated email to the person who has the book saying, Hey, somebody else wants to use it, please bring this back. They'll get about two weeks or have a set due date, whatever's earlier, and the book will be brought back and you can put it on and it will be held for you at the checkout desk. So that's how that would work. That's how a recall works. The next thing we're going to look at go back to my search. How you would find a book that is actually in the library. So we have looked at an ebook. We have looked at a book that has been checked out. Now let's take a look at a book that should be available in the library. So let's click on number four. And this book is available in the library. How do I know that? It says not checked out. I have my call number and so now I need to go and look at this last box which is location. This book is located in Langston Library. Very important that you know which library your book is in. Uh, UCI has four major libraries on campus and you don't want to have to run between different libraries um, because you've forgotten what book your library is in. I've done that. I don't recommend it. So if I want to locate 
this book in our libraries, I go and I click on the location and a new window will open with a list of our call number locations. So guide to call numbers and subject locations. I'm going to scroll down and I can see that all of the L's are on the third floor. Click on this and a floor map will open and these elevators on the left are the ones near the checkout desk as you come in to the library. So you come into the Langston Library on the second floor. These elevators are the ones by the checkout desk. And then the LCs are just right in this area right here. So that's how you'd find a book in the library. You So I've returned to my results list and these books are all great, but there are only 14 of them. And I want to make sure that I'm getting all the information out there so I have some options. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing a search for a phrase, I'm going to construct a search using different key terms. And I'm going to string those together and see if I can get a few more results. So to do that, I'm going to start over and I'm going to do a different type of search. So I'm going to go to the advanced search. You can do this all in the one keyword box if you want. I just think for demonstration purposes, the advanced search is a lot easier. So what I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for anything that mentions school, anything that mentions prison, and anything that has that mentions uh, racist behavior, racism, racial inequality. Um, this truncation method we used in Academic Search Complete, it's the same basic idea. So I'm going to type in RACI and then this asterisk here and it's going to search for all of those and then include the different endings. Anything else can be a wild card. So I want to look for all of those right now. Um, another cool thing about the advanced keyword if you're using this search is you can limit things to different types of information. Um, so there's a language limiter if you're finding a lot of things that aren't in English um, or if you're looking for books in a different language you can set it to that language. Um, if you want to look for just electronic books, you can use this select collection and just use the online or internet resources if you're off campus and you don't want to come into the libraries. So there are lots of options available for you. So we're now going to do our search here and let's see what comes up. And again, this is a keyword search. It's going to look anywhere in the item record for this information and it found 21 results. So that's seven more than what I was finding before. And while some of the books are the same, this Obama administration book um, showed up in my last search results, some of them are new. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. And this is another ebook, so wonderful. And I'm looking for the book for the keywords to show up in red. So it found racial, school, and prison. And this is nice. It has a good summary of the book. I can go take a look at it right away. So that's one way that you can expand your search is you can look at different ways of constructing what you're searching for. Um, the other thing you can do is you can mine these records for other key terms. Maybe education, which is being used a lot, would be a better choice for um, a search rather than school, right? Or we can do education or school and it would catch everything that mentions education or school. We can also see, I'm going to go back to my list and see if there's anything else interesting.
resegregation of schools. Um, this is nice because it gives us this nice subject heading here for racism in education. So maybe that's something I want to pursue. What's nice about an online catalog is the subject heading is hyperlinked. So if I click on it, racism in education should have 12 books with that subject heading. If you're looking for racism in education in a specific state and the book has been marked that way, it will be, it will appear after the subject heading. So if you were interested in racism in education in Georgia, in New York, in South Africa, these are all subheadings of this one. So these will show up if we click this one. Note that racism in higher education is a different subject heading. So even though we clicked a link and we looked at racism in education as a subject heading, this is part of why I prefer to search for keywords, even if I know the subject heading, because racism in education as keywords will catch racism in, racism in higher education. It will not catch um, if we did it as a phrase or as a subject heading, it wouldn't catch it. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, wonderful. So now you know how to look for a book using the UCI Libraries Antpac catalog. If you need any help, please ask for help from a librarian in the Ask a Librarian discussion or at the Ask Us desk or via chat, however you want to get a hold of us and go ahead and use this to help you complete your find a book activity.